Inflation and the cost of new farm equipment is a common complaint of farmers today. But Leroy Helbling stays in the black by farming with decades-old equipment that's red. Nickel Pates gives you a look in this week's Ag Week cover story. Emily, here's a fellow who likes his farm equipment red and from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. A lot of it is 78 and 78 model equipment. Leroy and Rosemary Helbling raise corn, oats, and alfalfa to feed their cattle, all using what most would consider vintage, even collectible, IH machinery. Some of this equipment was already considered old when Helbling started farming full-time in 1980, but he still finds it preferable to new. Uh, economical to run, easy to work on, no uh, computers of any kind, of course, you know, because it's 1978 and older. He knows his job might be easier with some of the modern precision ag equipment, but he reckons his machinery costs for putting in a cropper about a third of what they'd be with today's equipment. I feel it's better for the bottom line, you know. I'm not a big operation, so uh, I take the time and fix it and keep it going. So I don't need a, a combine with a 40-foot header. Helbling says he doesn't have much trouble getting parts. Most comes from dealers or jobbers, sometimes salvage yards. You know, yeah, they're faded and what, but you know, you bring them home and clean them up a little bit, and put them on. In addition to the farm machinery, Helbling has five international pickups, seven farm trucks, and even a couple of early 1950s International Harvester household refrigerators, all in running order. So it works like new yet, chills real good. Uh, he also has a collection of international toy equipment, and to top it all off, he even has some international clothing. International gloves and suspenders and uh, international cap. IH never made long johns or anything, did it? Yeah, they did. <laughs> Mine are all wore out. <laughs> While farmers are concerned about the rising price of inputs and inflation, there are ways around it. For Ag Week, this is Michael Pates at Mandan, North Dakota. You can read much more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.